My story begins on an explosive block on the south side of Chicago. We ate fear for breakfast and violence for lunch. We saw more dead bodies than dance recitals as children, and police sirens were the lullabies that rocked us to sleep. Yet we were expected to grow and rise above circumstances we didn't ask to be born into. As a child, I remember the frustration I felt because I thought life wasn't fair. Even after escaping Chicago and living my life as an adult, I struggled with finding my path and my purpose. The cuts and bruises I sustained from my community kept me from casting my net and rising above my circumstances. And then one day, someone believed in me. When I decided to return to school, all the odds were stacked against me. As a low-income mother of six, a former felon, as a brain tumor survivor, and a college dropout, I didn't see any way to make it. But after earning a 3.75 GPA my first semester, I was granted a small scholarship and it changed my life. Not because I'd receive money or because I was going to be recognized, but because someone believed in me. Someone saw me as worthy despite the world telling me I wasn't. It was that one act of kindness that has allowed me to change the trajectory of my life and the future generations of my family. As I've gone through these past five years, trying to achieve an impossible goal of graduating with three degrees in five years, the trials have been insurmountable. Just like you, there have been some things that have happened that I knew was just going to make me quit, like the death of my oldest son. 90 days ago, a knock on my door brought me the most devastating news of my life. My 18-year-old son was killed in a rollover car crash on I-10 the world immediately stopped for me, and I could find no purpose to live. However, three weeks later, I received an email, and that email informed me that I had been chosen as a finalist to be the student speaker for the day. I'd forgotten I'd filled out the application. I was contemplating dropping out of school, and I didn't think I had the strength to make it, but someone believed in me. Because I wanted to quit, instead I was chosen to keep going. Having this opportunity to speak is the reason that I stand before you today, graduates. Someone else, even in my darkest moment, saw me as worthy. Graduates, I hope that when you walk into this world, to pursue your dreams, you take a moment to recognize the worth of others. Your kind word or listening ear or small recognition has the power to push someone forward when they feel like they want to give up. It doesn't take but a moment to really pay attention to the person next to you. Their story or support may be what it takes for you to reach your next level of greatness. It is the supporting of each other and our goals that will allow us to surpass our wildest dreams. I would like to close with a poem. It's entitled, Ain't Got Much. Can't rap, can't sing, can't dance. Six children, three daddies, what chance? Money spent, friends gone, husband mad, kids screaming, police shooting, all bad. No vote, can't work, who cares? No tags, crusty feet, bitten nails, 
black skin, no implants, love to read, cheap weave, missing teeth, expensive to breathe. No iPhone, no Apple, no choice. No Snapchat, no Instagram, what voice? Still, got hope and something else. You ain't heard? Got me some thoughts and a keyboard. Got these words. Graduates, may you become the difference in the world you want to see. Your journey will change someone else's life. Thank you.